When it comes to generosity, actually we in Indonesia are quite used to it. Charity and giving, after all, is part of our culture, religion and traditions. These days, companies also try to improve their image through community development programs and implementing corporate social responsibility, or CSR. What is lacking, however, is an integrated and sustainable philanthropic works by wealthy and generous individuals through collaboration with professionally run non-profit making organizations with clear strategies and effective programs in line with government objectives. This would help in achieving targeted results and goes beyond image building initiatives by companies or feel good factor for individuals. Instead, concerted efforts such as the Indonesia Health Fund partnering with Global Health Fund will ensure tangible results that would make world diseases such as polio, tuberculosis and malaria a thing of the past. Now with your expertise in technology and innovation, how can that be brought into you know, whether it's creating the program or um, just getting things you know, implemented? Do you use that technology and innovation to create more effective programs? Yes, digital tools are part of this. And they're not as big as a new malaria vaccine or a TB vaccine that would prevent that disease. But the idea that a healthcare worker can, when somebody comes in, see uh, what the history of that patient is, that in terms of making sure that the vaccine and drugs are always stocked so a patient never comes in and the material's not there, uh, even watching for corruption that you always seen, okay, where did the goods go? And you know, there's a camera, did, did this person show up? Or even patients reporting, hey, I paid money to get what I was supposed to be a, a free service or I didn't get good service. Now with modern communications technology, looking at budgets, looking at behavior, we should be able to use those tools to raise the level of quality in all of these different systems. And so part of my enthusiasm is taking digital approaches into these realms. Mm -hmm. uh, part is to take biological innovation to invent the new entities. And you know, between the two of those things, give us, you know, in 10 years, we'll have a lot more. In 20 years, mm -hmm. you know, it'll, be, it'll be phenomenal. And I'll get to be around to help, help push that forward. Yeah, let's hope in 10, 20 years, you know, these diseases would be well on their way out. But, but Tahir, how involved would you be in sort of overseeing these programs, particularly under the Indonesia Which Health program? Fund? The Health Fund. Yeah, I think uh, uh, as uh, just now I listened to the Mr. Bill Gitt's uh, speech, there's uh, a lot of sub-area that uh, maybe government haven't done it, that private sector can fill it up, mm -hmm. yeah, can be complimented on that. And especially on the downside, you know. Yeah, usually government on the policy side, maybe the private sector can do you know, the reali realization side. Yeah, yeah that's why my op op optimistic. Mm -hmm. Will the foundations work very, very closely with the Indonesia Health Fund? I mean, uh, what's the mechanism? Is well, this is the new one, Indonesia mm -hmm. Health Fund is a new one. Yeah, so we still work together with the Polio, polio Fund and uh, uh, Global Fund. One day, you know, when the Bill and Melinda Gates uh, Foundation is no longer around. How would you like people to remember you? I don't, I don't need to be remembered. <laughs> I want them to forget malaria. I want them to forget polio. Uh, they can, if we can make sure that these scourges, uh, that they forget those, then that's, that's quite a memorial. Uh, uh, you know, just he worked on diseases that nobody knows about anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Gates, entrepreneur, philanthropist, no, no, no. And Just <laughs> fighters of <laughs> <laughs> diseases. There's many diseases you don't have to think about. Uh, that, that would be nice. Okay, well, once again, thank you very much. Congratulations, Indonesia Health Fund. Let's hope Indonesia can be sort of the showcase, that we can be a, an example for more similar collaborations with other countries. Yeah, it's very exciting. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Philanthropists such as Bill Gates remind us that at the end of the
the day, wealth is not about how much we have, but about how much we give away. By donating his money to fund important causes such as health, Bill Gates will be remembered as someone not only who founded Microsoft, but as someone who dedicated his life to eradicating world diseases. And that's all for this episode. Don't forget to join me next month when we meet another figure who makes a difference to our lives here on Face to Face with Daisy Anwar, bringing you the world.